Hello guys, and welcome to my channel. Due to YouTube copyright infringement, we only use one picture with voiceover. Thank you for understanding. If you love history and biographies, please leave a like and a sub. Let's start the video. A. E. Andrew Ellicott, Douglas, July 5th, 1867 in Windsor, Vermont, March 20th, 1962 in Tucson, Arizona, was an American astronomer. He discovered a correlation between tree rings and the sunspot cycle and founded the discipline of dendrochronology, which is a method of dating wood by analyzing the growth ring pattern. He started his discoveries in this field in 1894 when he was working at the Lowell Observatory. During this time he was an assistant to Percival Lowell, but fell out with him when his experiments made him doubt the existence of artificial canals on Mars and visible spokes on Venus. 3. After a five-year hiatus from astronomy, Douglas left Flagstaff, Arizona in 1906 and accepted a position as assistant professor of physics and geography at the University of Arizona in Tucson, Arizona. Almost immediately upon his arrival in Tucson, Douglas re-established his astronomical research programs using an 8-inch refracting telescope on loan from the Harvard College Observatory, and actively began to pursue funding to construct a large research class telescope in Tucson. Over the next 10 years Douglas was unable to secure funding from the university and the Arizona Territorial and later state, legislatures. During this period Douglas served the University of Arizona as head of the Department of Physics and Astronomy, interim president, and finally dean of the College of Letters, Arts, and Sciences, 5, on October 18, 1916. University President Rufus B. Von Kleinsmid announced that an anonymous donor had given the university 60,000 US dollars to be used to buy a telescope of huge size, the donor was later revealed to be Mrs. Lavinia Stewart of Oracle, Arizona, a wealthy widow with an interest in astronomy and a desire to commemorate her late husband, Henry Stewart. 6. Douglas made plans to use the Stewart gift to construct a 36-inch Newtonian reflecting telescope. The Warner and Swayze Company of Cleveland, Ohio was contracted to build the telescope. But the United States entry into World War I delayed the contract since Warner and Swayze had war contracts that took priority. Until this time expertise in large telescope mirror making was in Europe, but the war made it impossible to contract with a European company, so Douglas had to find an American glass company willing to develop this expertise. After a couple of failed castings, the Spencer Lens Company of Buffalo, New York produced the mirror for the Stewart Telescope. 5. The telescope was finally installed in the observatory building in July 1922, and the Stewart Observatory was officially dedicated on April 23, 1923. In his dedication address, Douglas recounted the trials and tribulations of establishing the observatory, then gave the following eloquent justification for the scientific endeavor Sad Smiley 7. 